Hi, I'm Diane with Red Poppy Wigs. I'm located in the Kansas City metro area in Overland Park, which is on the Kansas side. I have been a cosmetologist over 40 years, and I've been working specifically with wigs for the last 12 or 13 years. So even though I've worked with wigs since I was eight years old, I my full-time job has been the last 12 or 13 years. That said, I wanted to let you know I am ready to go today. I am back logged on my videos. I had a lot of things happening over the holidays. Um, family visits, of course, New Year's, Christmas. I had a root canal. I had COVID. So there was a lot of things going on and I just did not take the time to do any new videos. But I'm excited about this new product today. Well, it's an old product made new, if you will. Uh, it's a Raquel Welch product that, or, or headpiece that has been in the, gosh, in their lineup for years and it's one of their best sellers. So just recently they upgraded it to an elite version, which for those of you who wear wigs a lot or are familiar, typically that means they take a traditional cap or and do it in some sort of hand tied version and that's what they did so sorry i've got my my sanitary nylon on and i'm ready to show you these have not been taken out of the box so this is one of my very favorite colors it's 9s plus it's only available in the traditional synthetic the non-heat friendly synthetic so if you're afraid of that this you're not going to find this color but i love this brunette it works so well for so many people but this wig is called trendsetter i'm sure you've seen it if you've looked at websites it's darling and um again the co the color is is the 9s plus which is the the glazed haze or i'm sorry glazed mahogany so first I'll show you, this is the original, the original style. The cap is, is all hand done, or I'm sorry, machine done with machine wefting. So, but it's a darling flippy um, shag, I guess would be a good way to describe it. But it, it's really lightweight. It's got a lot of fun, movement oh gosh and the cap's nice if you've watched my reviews before i have a larger head and i will post my measurements down below that said none of the wigs fit the same so i have to act, try them on to see if they'll fit i mean it's still small on me you can see my hair and my head going on but we can fix that Anyway, this is Trendsetter. She's so cute. I would probably do a little bang business here. Get rid of some of that. Just take the tips off so I didn't have to have it in my eyes. But for those of you who like some volume on the top, it's not curl, but it's, and there is some permatees but it, it's, oh gosh, it's really lightweight and cute. Now look, I do everything. I mean, I don't just let them, I don't put them on my head and just let them sit there. I will tend to make them my own. And so tuck it behind my ears like I would. That gives it a kind of a different look. You've got the flip going on in the back and then it's really flippy. through the back and I'll pull this down so you can see. For those of you who may not, this, it's very cute. Yeah, I love this color though, isn't it pretty? I mean, I, I've taken a lot of women out of very dark wigs into this color. As we age, we shouldn't wear really dark colors and it's hard to get out of that habit. 
because people want to see themselves the way they look, but it isn't necessarily flattering as, as we age. And so I don't wear wigs as dark as my natural hair, but I love, I love this one, this color. Uh, but this is darling. I'll probably be wearing this. I'll probably just have to get it out of my stock and start wearing it. Okay, so that is just the traditional, the original trendsetter. Oh, and one other thing, this is exciting. So I got my new price list for spring, and I don't know that it's been released yet, but the trendsetter is gonna come in a large cap. So I will order it as soon as I can. Um, and see how that will compare to the average cap, which was what I just put on. But I'm so tickled because there's quite a few new, quite a few wigs that have been in the collection for a long time that they're they're releasing very soon in large caps, which is great. Okay, so the Trendsetter Elite version is tied down in a box. Uh, like I said, I haven't taken them out. So what they did to this one to update it and to make it uh, fr friendlier for more people, I guess. Some people don't like a lot of hair here on top. And with the hand tied, which they did the, the lace front and then the hand tied top. So you... You can make it so there's not quite as much volume because each one of those little fibers is tied in one at a time instead of the permatease where it's all done by machine. So let's, and then the back is wefted just like a, a traditional. So it should give it a little bit, sorry, that was rude, a little bit more stretch. She says, she says with her big noggin. Okie doke, let's get it on and get it where it's supposed to go. Get my ear tabs, well, they're supposed to be, this one is a little bit smaller and look at those lovely faces I make. This one's a little bit smaller, but you can see that you could put a part in this one. You could flatten it down more and make it just a completely a completely different look. Um, I do like it. I do like it. I think that it needs some. I would put like to put some restore on it just to kind of play with it a little bit and get the. Cause after sitting in the box, the fibers get kind of wonky, but I, I like it in a, di in a s different way. I'm not, I can't quite articulate what that is, but. So there you go with the size. It seems this particular one seems a little straighter for some reason. I'm not sure why it's not flipping as much. But again, if we put some restore or something on it, it may. And then the back. And the right side. So that's a comparison between the Trendsetter and the Trendsetter Elite. This one's definitely got potential. I just think it's it was weird out of the box. I need to work on it, but it's for sure, again, same color, glazed mahogany. Very cute. So if you have any questions about anything that has to do with wigs, I'd really like for you to get in touch with me. My information will be down posted down below this video along with my head size and information about both of these wigs. Uh, I've been around for a long time and I'd really be happy to help you with anything. You can contact me, probably easiest is through, through my email address. And um, 
I hope you have a great day and enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and share if you will, and um, I'll keep cranking them out. Have a great day.